There is nothing in fish flesh that we require, certainly not these fabled omega-3 fats. Uh, the truth is, fish don't make them. Uh, those important oils are made by algae cells, plant cells that float in the ocean. And fish swim in, their ocean, in the ocean with their mouths open, swallowing algae all day. And it's really algae omega-3s that are winding up in the fish's flesh. And we are clear-cut in the oceans. We are strip-mining the oceans with these massive trawler nets. Fish is the best thing you can consume if you want to keep your level up of mercury, pesticides, dioxins, and carcinogenic hydrocarbons. You want to eat fish because these animals accumulate all the toxins we've been pouring into the oceans as we treat them like sewers. Well, the biggest misunderstandings are about fish. People think that you have to eat fish. And again, part of it is the um, uh, misunderstanding that fish is the health promoting food in some of these healthier populations, and it's really not. The problem with fish is several fold. First of all, it's higher in fat than a lot of animal foods. Like people think they're doing better to eat fish than beef. A lot of fish is higher in fat than it is than, than the content of beef. Another problem is that fish is often contaminated with mercury. And some very interesting things I've read just recently about uh, people trying to choose lower mercury uh, fish in restaurants and that sort of thing. You know, about 94% of the time, the fish that you're ordering in restaurants isn't even the fish that you're getting. It's frequently swapped out with some other white flesh fish that you won't know the difference. So um, mercury is a big issue. And then of course, when you buy farmed fish, what that's doing to the ocean is inexcusable. But all this to say, fish is not a health food. I tell people, leave fish in the water. Fish is not essential. It has never been essential. Um, mercury is not essential in the diet either, I might say. And fish, some people will say, well, it's better than beef, isn't it? Uh, better in the sense that it's somewhat lower in saturated fat, but it still has, it still does have saturated fat. It has cholesterol. It has no fiber whatsoever. And epidemiologically, when you look at people who favor fish, they are, they are slightly slim, slimmer than the beef eaters, but they are substantially heavier and have a higher risk of diabetes compared to ovo-lacto-vegetarians and much more so compared to vegan. So, um, some people argue going from beef to fish, good step, uh, plus minus, hard to say, but going to a completely plant-based diet, I mean a vegan diet, diet with no animal products, best of all. Absolutely not. Uh, I, again, grew up thinking that fish was something that was healthy to eat and it was necessary specifically for omega-3s, but over the course of time, we found that fish is actually just a contaminated food source for multiple reasons. Number one, uh, there's a lot of mercury and it's difficult to find fish that has zero mercury in it. Number two, there's a lot of plasticizers and industrial runoff that actually is uh, polluting the water. And as a result of that, the fish that are swimming in that water end up ingesting that. And then when you go eat the fish, you end up ingesting that as well. well as far as amino acids are concerned, there's just no question. I mean, scientifically, we know every single amino acid is present in every single plant. There's only one protein that doesn't contain all amino acids, and that's gelatin. And that actually comes from the animal world. Other than that, every plant has full amino acids. And so this, this sort of idea that I need to eat fish in order to get my omega-3s, or I need to eat fish in order to get a full amino acid profile, it's just, it's pseudoscience at its best. It turns out that um, your, the body's need for decosohexohexonic acid can be met from vegetable-based sources. And fortunately, all vegetables have some degree of essential fatty acids that we need. Some are particularly rich, like flax seeds, walnuts, and green vegetables. So to ensure adequate omega-3 fatty acids so your body has what it needs to convert to the DHA, we suggest eating a diet exclusively from whole natural foods that's free of sugar, oil, and salt. Uh, I, no, we, don't, we certainly don't need to eat fish for amino acids. Amino acids are in everything. They're, they're the building blocks of protein, and every living thing has protein in it. So we don't need to worry about getting enough amino acids as long as we're getting enough calories. As long as we're eating food, we're going to be getting all the amino acids we need. So many patients come in and ask about fish and as a source of fish oil in particular, because we know that omega-3 fatty acids are good. Um, downstream omega-3 fatty acids create compounds that are anti-inflammatory in our body. Omega-6s, on the other hand, create in, uh, compounds that, are an, that, are, that create inflammation. Now we need to have some inflammation um, to help fight infections and heal wounds, but the average standard American diet, standard Western diet, you'll see ratios 10 to 1 on the omega-6 side. So we eat an inflammatory diet in general um, um, 
uh, even if we eat what we consider was healthy, low fat dairy, low, lean meat, um, such as that. These omega-6s are coming from processed vegetable oils primarily. So the omega-6, omega-3 ratio, for example, in corn oil is 83 to one. What, what do we feed cows and pigs and chickens, right? So we feed them corn. On the omega-3 side, so people have this idea, well, if I just take some omega-3s, I can bring that ratio back into balance. But in fact, the, 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 the oily fishes like salmon and mackerel and herring, which are high in omega-3s, they concentrated. The ultimate source is marine phytoplankton and algae. They're, they're plants. In 1965, we fished about 10% of the ocean, and there were zero species under pressure. Um, for um, survival pressure. To, in today's world, we have to fish 85% of the ocean for the same catch, and about 85% of the species are under pressure. So we've, th that leads to profound disruptions in the, the ocean ecosystems, which have profound effects on weather and, and health and can create civil strife, and there's a lot of issues around that. Uh, I think fish are not essential in the diet. Uh, one study uh, was looking at the uh, composition of the fatty tissue in vegans and in meat eaters and they found that the, f that the adipose tissue contained much more omega-3 uh, fatty acids in the vegans compared to uh, people who were eating meat and fish. So for omega-3s it's, uh, it's not important to eat fish. We do need to have some plant-based sources of omega-3s, but we don't need to eat fish. We do not need to eat fish, and I think, you know, I, I, sometimes I'll point out to people that, you know, before there was the Industrial Revolution, how do you think people who didn't live on the coast <laughs> would get these nutrients? Um, and these nutrients are in plants, and they're in perfect ratios in plants, and I'm talking about the omega-3s, and. Uh, the ALAs or the DHA, EPA, we can get all of this from the omega-3s that are in plants and in the perfect ratios that make that conversion um, happen in our bodies. The same conversion the little fish did when he ate the algae, uh, we can do that too. And I also would argue that fish and anything alive in the water is going to be a sponge for toxins. And why would you put that in your body if you can get it from a plant? We do not need to eat fish. A lot of people perceive it to be the healthiest of the animal foods. And research shows that on a spectrum, it may have less or fewer deleterious effects than say red meat. However, it really is all relative. It depends what you're talking about. We know that for a fact, fish is contaminated with toxins, with heavy metals and other compounds that are found in the waters and whether that's wild fish or farmed fish. Fish also has a lot of saturated fat, so even as you're getting your omega-3 fatty acids, you're getting a big dose of saturated fat, and while there is a debate as to how unhealthy saturated fat is for you, we know that it does uh, correlate with heart disease and risk factors. And when we kill the fish and squeeze the, uh, the fat out of its muscle, and we, ooh, fish oil, omega-3s, that was algae-derived oil all the time, omega-3s. Well, now they're growing those algae cells in big vats of pure seawater and harvesting the, the omega-3s directly out of the algae cells. Uh, we, we, it's time to leave the fish off the hook. You want omega-3 fat, uh, it's in uh, walnuts and flax seeds and hemp seeds and dark green leafy vegetables. And if you want a little extra, you can buy some algae-derived DHA, but there's absolutely no reason to eat fish. You can get rid of the middleman and by eating plants, flaxseed meal, hemp seeds, chia seeds, get the raw materials for you to help make omega-3 fats. Now, when you eat the animal protein from fish, that changes your gut bacteria some to help you make this compound called trimethylamine oxide, or TMAO. Now, TMAO is not your friend. The higher your TMAO levels, the more heart disease, the more cancer, the more diabetes. It's not something you want. But when you eat fish, it selects for gut bacteria that lead to the formation of TMAO. So you're helping your body make more TMA, TMAO, something that is not your friend. You know, if you look at these geothermal maps, I don't know if this is the right term to use, but there was this tsunami in Japan and the meltdown of the nuclear reactor. And if you look at these geothermal maps, mapping the radiation from that 
uh, nuclear meltdown, it stretches all the way to California, across the entire Pacific Ocean. So I don't know of fish that are able to escape some kind of, uh, of toxin um, uh, that are you know, out there in, in the wild. So those are some of the reasons why I do not want uh, my patients to eat fish. So when people say that they need to eat omega-3s, I tell them that the omega-3s and the omega-6s, the fatty acids, these are the essential fatty acids that we, our bodies can't make. They compete for the same receptor on the cell. So it's kind of like having um, you know, five garages and, and 25 trucks and 10 um, cars. Which ones are gonna wind up in the garages? Obviously, if there's more trucks than there are cars, you're gonna have more trucks in the garages. So that would be more omega-6s binding those receptors. So what we have to do is we want those omega-3s to be able to bind so we can take full advantage of those. So what we do is you need to decrease the omega-6s in your diet so that the ratio of sixes to threes evens out a little bit. And you do that by eliminating the processed fats, the oils in your diet, so that you're eating uh, dark leafy green vegetables, you're eating walnuts, you're eating, because um, nuts and seeds are, are a source as well. Um, and that way you'll get more threes to sixes. The second thing is with respect to fish, people think they need to get their omega-3s from fish. And really the question is, well, where do the fish get the omega-3s? They don't make it, they eat it. It comes from the algae. So if you include sea vegetables in your diet, you'll certainly get omega-3s. But if you consume uh, ground flaxseed, because flaxseed needs to be ground in order to be absorbed, that's an excellent source of omega-3s. If you consume chia seeds, if you consume hemp seeds, again, those are omega-3 sources. And if you decrease the oils, you'll increase the proportion of the omega-3 so the omega-6s won't overwhelm it, and then the receptors can be receptive to the omega-3s. I do not believe that we need to eat fish in order to get our omega-3 oils. Um, I oftentimes will eat a tablespoon of ground flaxseed, which is a rich source of omega-3s, and, and sprinkle that on my um, oatmeal or, or chia seeds as well. This idea that we need to be eating fish frequently around the clock every day in order to get the healthy oils that we need to thrive, I think, is, um, is a misconception.